Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios, where anything can happen. And today we're talking planners. Social media planning, in particular. I had a discussion in one of my uh, groups at Live Chats that I was in the other night, and they were talking about um, never seeming to get stuff out onto social media. And um, the key thing is, if you are promoting any kind of a business nowadays, social media is free advertising and why not take advantage of it um i had mentioned an editorial calendar and most everyone in the group did not know what an editorial calendar was which kind of surprised me but for those who do not know an editorial calendar is something that magazines television everybody that has to put things out to the public use and that is knowing when their deadlines are for various issues or uh, releases movie releases anything like that <clears throat> they have an editorial calendar so they know when things are coming out they know what their deadline is and then they can work back from that to break down their projects into manageable bites so that they're hitting their deadline so this is my social media calendar it is a skinny classic from uh, happy planner and I had done a video on these a few months ago where I had taken five or six that I had gotten off of clearance at Hobby Lobby to test market how I like this format and I absolutely love it um, for starters I have a front and, I and a back cover but I also have an extra board here that I use as my writing surface the neat thing about Happy Planner is they're ring bound. I can roll my pages back and just look at this. This one section is all that takes up space on my desk. Or I can take a page out, move this aside, and I can work just with this page. Now, <clears throat> while I was sick, <laughs> last week and believe it or not this is actually healthy compared to what I was last week so I'll try to keep the coughs to a minimum and I have a cup of coffee here to keep my throat moist as I slurp my fluffy coffee but I went through and I predated all of my editorial calendars on the month at a glance and I will talk to you in a bit about how I did that and then I'll show you what I'm doing for the month of October. Now, I'm going to stand this up so you can see. On the end, there are five colored tabs. There used to be six. I have since dropped a blog. <clears throat> the red one is my author blog. The blue is my music promotion business. The pink is my um, creative, the Kelly's Creative Dreams. Green is an Ozarks journal. This is just a sporadic journal where I highlight my garden, what's going on in the Ozarks, events, uh, travel around the Ozarks, that kind of thing. It's not something that I do strongly. I just enjoy doing that one. And then the orange one is my Cauldron Cafe blog, which um, is where I'm trying to build up a readership there for when I release a couple of New Age books that I have in the planning thing. And that's that's my spiritual blog. So, um, what I do is each blog, and let's work on with Kelly's Creative Dreams today since that's where we're at. So let me flip to my blue here, or my pink here. And each day has something different scheduled on it. Um, and if you'll go to the blog link down below my description box, you will see a sideboard that tells you what you can expect to be posting on each day of the week. <clears throat> so my schedule is that on Mondays, I'm now posting my Monday challenge, our monthly challenge thing. So whatever the challenge is with Dear Julie Julie, um, or even with the paper outpost, I want to get back into working with Pam's stuff since I have been in her group for almost a year and I've only done a couple of the challenges. I, Mondays will be monthly challenge posts. Tuesdays will be one of a couple of things. It will either be Card Chicks, which is my Split Coast Stamper Group um, K 
kit swap and that video posted yesterday for the month of September. It is supposed to post around the 21st of the month. So I've got card chicks. Now the other Tuesdays of the month, I try to post uh, Teapot Tuesday, which is also on Split Coast. It's a group where on Tuesdays <clears throat> we make a card based on some parameters and we can either choose to send it to whoever we want or we can send it to the person that is designated for that week to receive a little cheer and uplift. So that is Teapot Tuesday. Wednesdays is What's on Your Work Desk Wednesday, and that's just where we show off our work desk. Nothing extravagant, and that's why technically there's never a video on Wednesdays because I'm not showing anything except what my desk looks like for that week and what I'm working on. Thursdays is now going to be Design Team Thursday, where I show you projects that I am working on with Dear Julie Julie stuff. Friday is Friday Freebie can become whatever is on my docket for the week. Saturday, again, never know what the project's going to be, but it's always going to be a shout-out Saturday until we get through my entire list of subscribers, and I hope that never happens. So remember, you can subscribe to my channel, click all notifications, and I will add you to my Excel sheet where I print you out, and every Saturday I draw five names out of my jar to give a shout-out to your channel. So... Um, Saturday shout out Saturday and then Sundays is Stampin Up Sunday where I always feature a Stampin Up project. So we're going to look at October's and as I said I've already have October figured out. So let's start with our first one is our design team challenge. Let's see the first will be on Tuesday and that actually ended the last week in September sheet over here. It should have. They didn't give me a Monday, to Monday, Tuesday. So let's start with what would be Friday is Friday Freebie. Um, not sure what my project is going to be for Friday Freebie. In fact, I'm going to take all of these out here for the month of October. Move this book aside. So all I have in front of me is our design team sheet and this. Now, this book has the month at a glance. And then it also has the weekly sheets um, where I can go through. So here's Monday through Sunday, the 5th through the 11th kind of thing for a full week. And I can put out what I'm going to be a little bit more detailed about the project that I'm doing for that day. So Friday freebie. Um, Friday is going to be, because I missed the Reindeer Club last 20, on the 25th of this month, I'm going to do a Christmas card. I've had some requests to do to work with some of those new Stampin' Up! papers from the holiday catalog. I don't know what card I'm going to do yet. Let's grab that holiday catalog and see if I can't come up with something. Of course, I had just moved the catalog off my desk. And I'm only going to do one full week here and then this partial week to show you what we're doing. Let me scoot back here to the papers. The papers are listed in the back. And I can look. Somebody had wanted to see what I was going to do with the Wonder of the Season specialty paper. And that is on page 31. So I'll go here to 31. And that was this pretty foil printed paper. Um, there are some nice options here. But you know what? I think, and I didn't order that stamp set but I have other stamp sets I can use. So let's just put Christmas card using Wonder of the Seasons. And because I know now what page that's on, so I don't have to look it up again later, I'm going to put page 31. So I'll have that one down. Um, Saturday is <laughs> Shout Out Saturday, and let's do something. Let's do a Halloween card. Because I need to start getting those out. Now there are some options in the Stampin' Up! But I'm really pushing this this uh, Halloween paper a lot here lately. But let's maybe do it maybe as a... Ooh! I just ordered this stamp set, the Festive Corners. So let's do something using Festive Corners. They've done something here and made a nice shaker card. But let's do... 
Let's do festive corners. And because it's not technically a Stampin' Up! showcase, I can use any other papers or embellishments that I want with that. So we may add a spider charm. Now, I may not turn that into a card. I may get to playing and decide I'd rather use it as a tuck spot in a Halloween journal. So that's also an option. Sunday is Stampin' Up! Sunday. <coughs> and I'm going to use the... Um, Hollow's Night Magic again, the set that I used to make the frame, and we are going to do another home decor piece and a gift card to go with a prize I have coming up soon, because the home decor piece isn't going to take very long. Okay, so that'll take me through Sunday. So now let's do a first full week. Mondays are... Monday the 5th is our monthly challenge, and we will have the new monthly challenge from Dear Julie Julie. She will post that on October 5th, so that will be the October challenge, and I'll give you the details and a kit walkthrough of what I'm doing for that. While I'm speaking on kits, <coughs> I did not mean to get off track with my September journals. Everything is still sitting over there on the ironing board to be put together. <coughs> <coughs> being sick last week took me out of my week of getting that done. I'm still going to get them finished. And there will be a walkthrough video of those journals when I get them done. Tuesday the 6th is um, a Teapot Tuesday. Now, they post their challenge the morning of, so the morning of the 6th, that week's challenge will go up. So what I do so that I have time to make the card and do the video I go back and do the week before. So I will be doing the video from um, yesterday. Yesterday's video. Today's video. The card they posted for today will be the card that I make for this Teapot Tuesday. So I need to look back at 9.29. Okay. Wednesday is what's on your work desk Wednesday, and I do want to get back to doing this. I need to go in and realign on all my Wednesdays, put what the numbers are. Did I have September's listed? Let me flip this through to the beginning of September. Um, let's see. This workout ones, this one should be, the seventh should be 592. Um, this Wednesday is number, uh, 593, this one will be number 594, and this one will be 595. We have been, the, the, what's on your work desk Wednesday is kind of like a blog hop where you show off what your desk is. And this is going to be our 592nd consecutive Wednesday of having What's on Your Work Desk Wednesday and visiting other blogs to see what other folks are up to. If you have a blog, we'd love to have you join us. There is room for everybody. Love to have you jump in and join us. Oh, wait a minute. No, this wouldn't be 592. This would be 596. 596. I looked at last month's. This would be 596. Okay, and then Thursday is design team. I will have something down here to do Thursday. From what I have printed off, I'm really wanting to work with Julie's um, Shopping with Mom digital kit. It's kind of a Christmas thing, and I think it's going to be beautiful Christmas cards. But I can't get to my printer just yet. So design team Thursday will probably be something I'm going to put pre-printed, and then I will pick out something from that later. Okay. 8th, and then on the 9th is Friday, and that's Friday freebie. Um, let's do a, let's do another Halloween card, so, because we want to get those up and going so we can get them in the mail. Saturday is shout out. Let's see what comes up with Saturday. Actually, you know what? Let's move the Halloween card to Saturday. And let's see how my kit has progressed from here. No. I don't know. Oh, I know one thing I am doing. 
Um, for Shout Out Saturday, here, Saturday the 3rd, you're going to want to come back because there is going to be a drawing announcement, prize announcement. And you'll see what that is on Saturday the 3rd. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to try. We'll see what comes up for Friday. But we know that Friday freebie can be anything. So that one can pop up last minute, and I'm okay with that. And then Stampin' Up! Sunday. Let's pilfer through here. Whatever. Um, I'm saving the poinsettia stuff because I have plans for that. Let's do something with the heartwarming hug sampler. So then I know I'm going to work with heartwarming hugs. Now, by doing this and knowing what's coming up through the week, I can plan ahead to know, okay, I need to figure out what my card is going to be or my project, get those things prepped and ready to go, and get that video filmed because I have to load this video no later than Saturday morning if you're to get it on Sunday. So all my videos have to be backed up at least one day. And somewhere in here, Bob and I are planning a combined birthday getaway for a couple of days, which would, uh, if I could get a bunch of videos recorded and batched, then I could upload those at a hotel, and that would make my life so much simpler. Um, also, I have a baby shower to go to this weekend, so I need to have all this stuff for this weekend pre-done, pre-loaded, and by having an editorial calendar, I can look out beyond just today and see what needs to be done, what I need to work on, and what my deadline is for getting it done. And that's really all an editorial calendar is. I do the same thing for all of my blogs so that I know what needs to post when, such as on my author blog, Tuesday is always a spotlight Tuesday where I shine the light on an author. I still have to post that one this morning. By the way, I'm recording this on Tuesday for you to see today. So um, so I've still got to get that one up. Being sick has put me behind, so now I'm winding up having to do things last minute. But by having the editorial calendar done, I even last minute I can see what I need to do and where I need to go. I'm not floundering in a sea of I have no clue trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I have an idea of what needs to go up, what products I need to pull, what links I need to get, which authors I need to get a hold of, if I haven't already or if I'm missing something from them. Yesterday, I did a last-minute uh, interview with a music artist on Twitter. <coughs> there was something about him. I knew I needed a little bit more information. Did not have time to do a full Q&A interview with him like I do with my music artist. So he just answered three quick questions in Twitter direct message for me yesterday. But because I knew he needed to be up yesterday and today, um, we were able to throw that together last minute because I knew what I needed to do. And that's where your editorial calendar comes in. So I don't want to take up a full 30 minutes of a video here trying to map out my whole month. But there I am for the next week and a half. You know what's coming up. I know what I need to go in, what cards I need to have prepped and ready for for filming. Um, if there's anybody I need to talk to, any links that I need, I've got those all in my head, but I also have the general idea here on paper in front of me so that I don't forget anything. And somewhere along the line, I've misplaced my, my uh, year to glance. I probably stuck it back over here in September. I'll have to go back and pull it. There it is. So yeah, I was right. That was September's. That was. So while I've got that and know that I had messed that up, let's go back and correct this. Yeah, 593. There we go. There's my month at a glance. Now, when I'm doing this, if I come across anything that I know that I need to go looking for, I can make notes over here. And I've always got a month at a glance actual calendar in front of me that I can use. And make sure I keep this in frame. Um, and, but I've got a place to make notes. Things that I need to do. I need to go pull last week's Teapot Tuesday. So pull Teapot Tuesday for 9 29 
and then I know that that's where I'm at. Let's see. Yeah, 9.29. I need to go back and look and see what today's Teapot Tuesday was. Pull that address information. And then I've got, I have, I'm trying to correct myself on that. I have, this is my planner for keeping track of challenges <clears throat> and things online. And I can go in here to June, July, August, September. Hey, there I was. And I can go to the 29th. And then I can write down the address of who that Teapot Tuesday card needs to go to. Um, so I've always got that address handy, and I can get that out and get it in the mail. So while I do work with several planners, my key one when it comes to making sure that everything else is done on time is all done in my social media planner. So this is working out really well, and it's working out so well, in fact, that I'm already planning on ordering multiple of these from the Happy Planner so that I can get them in here and get them prepped this this last quarter of the year ready to go for next year. So um, I really like this format. If you have any questions about that I've not explained or not explained fully about how I use a social media calendar or an editorial calendar in general, um, <clears throat> I do have one. This is primarily for social media. Now, I do have an editorial page in my Etsy planner for when I want to start putting stuff in my shop, which was supposed to have been last Saturday, um, of when I want to start releasing products into my shop, and then I would be listing on specific days of when things need to go in the shop, when I need to swap things out for other products, because um, I think it's like four months, and then you either need to let them roll over again, or you need to swap them out for new stuff, and of course I'll always be adding new stuff to my shop. Um, <clears throat> so, this is just social media, but an editorial calendar as to when you're releasing on a blog or a web page or to your Etsy shop or to your YouTube channel all works the same way. Plan ahead, know what's going to be posted when and where, and then work backwards to see what you need to do and able to hit that editorial goal. Um, a good example is magazines. They're, you're starting to see their fall issues hit the stands last month, this month. Those were in an editorial calendar to be worked on. Sure, their release date was, say, the 1st of September. But everything had to work backwards to where they were working on that August issue in February. When the rest of us were reading their Valentine issues. Their Christmas issues are traditionally put together in July. That's where the Christmas in July actually came from is because magazines and television shows were doing their Christmas planning and for their issues in July. So that's where that came from. So that's an editorial calendar. This is my social media editorial calendar. And if you like finding out how I use my planners, please like this video. I'm willing to do more planner videos, and you will probably see more planner videos. So if there's something in particular you would like me to show, please leave a comment down below and let me know, and I will put it somewhere in my editorial calendar to make sure I get it covered. Remember to hit subscribe so I can add you to Shout Out Saturday and to click all notifications so you don't miss an ep any, upload any uploads of my videos. Thanks for joining me in the studio today. Creative blessings and happy planning.